Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India project on econometric modeling. So, today we will start a new component structural equation modeling. So, in the last lectures we have highlighted the details about simultaneous equation modeling. So, we have discussed various issues regarding a single equation mod modeling and you can in the same times there is a simultaneous equation modeling. So, in the case of single equation modeling there is a one way causality, but in the case of uh, simultaneous equation modeling, there is a two way causality because there is a, uh, there are interdependence uh, of variable uh, different interdependence among the various variables. So, single equation modeling is very easy to understand, easy to calculate, or easy to estimate, whereas a simultaneous equation modeling is very complex, very confusing or you can say very time taking component, but it is more interesting because it is, it is uh, uh, because most of the problems, real world problems are very interdependent in nature. As a result, it has to be discussed with a, 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 an angle of uh, a simultaneous equation modeling. So, without to, uh, without having sufficient knowledge on simultaneous equation modeling, it is very difficult to uh, understand the real world business problems. So, in, in, in brief, we we have made a uh, difference between single uh, single equation modeling and simultaneous equation modeling. So, with the basic information about the simultaneous equation modeling, we have to move to structural equation modeling because uh, simultaneous equation modeling will give you route to the structural equation modeling. In the structural equation modeling, it is also joint dependence of uh, variables. I mean, existence of joint dependence among the variables, but uh, here something and there is more interesting than the simultaneous equation modeling. So, before you uh, proceed to uh, structural equation modeling, I briefly uh, is highlight some of the issues and uh, concepts under simultaneous equation modeling, then we will converse to structural equation modeling. So, what we have discussed in the simultaneous equation modeling is that means the objective is to describe the joint dependence among the variables. You cannot estimate the parameters of a particular single equation without having information about uh, information about the parameters of other equation in the model. So, now the moment you will go for simultaneous equation modeling, it basically uh, means uh, uh, if you will move from uh, single equation modeling to simultaneous equation modeling, then obviously uh, there are two uh, shortcomings we have to uh, uh, you can say uh, overcome. So, that uh, these are uh, you can say uh, means one is your multi collinearity problem and another is autocorrelation problem. So, in the case of uh, when you apply single uh, means any problems uh, using single equation modeling may have uh, uh, multi collinearity may have autocorrelation because some of the things which are interdependent we are not incorporating, but the moment when we look for uh, simultaneous equation modeling. So, we are integrating the system in a accurate way, in a feasible way, so that the uh, problem of multi and uh, autocorrelation can be removed very easily. So, now, uh, you know, in, once you proceed to the, you can say structural equation modeling, we will know more, more, uh, something more about the interdependence technique. It is one of the multivariate, uh, you know, data analysis. So, structural SEM, the po popular name is called as a SEM, this is nothing but structural equation modeling, okay, structural equation modeling. So, before I go to the structural equation modeling completely, so I will uh, uh, slightly highlight some of the issues which we have not, uh, I mean, say, uh, we have not covered uh, details in the case of simultaneous equation modeling. So, uh, when we will go for simultaneous equation modeling, then obviously the system will be very interdependent. That means, it is a, it is a problem where there are uh, 
uh, there are groups of dependent variables and groups of independent variables and uh, it is very difficult to so describe sometimes who are the independent and who are the dependent, but we have to categorically classify that is how identification problem is very important. So, once you will identify properly then obviously it is not a problem for estimation, but the problem of once you, uh, you identify then obviously the estimation will be automatically come means accurate estimation will accurate uh, perfectly come into the picture. So, that is how you have to be very careful about this uh, system about the simultaneous equation system. So, now, so in the simultaneous equation system, so we have uh, we have two groups of variables, one is called as endogenous cluster and another is called as exogenous clusters. So, uh, there are many ways we can uh, express this particular problems. In fact, before this simultaneous equation modeling, we have uh, uh, we have highlighted various issues regarding you know uh, simple modeling, cross that is cross sectional modeling, time series modeling, panel data modeling. So, then uh, in the uh, uh, then we are discussing here the simultaneous equation modeling. So, now in this particular setup, so it is not uh, in the simultaneous equation modeling, in fact, uh, the time uh, time integration is very high for instance with a particular variable we will create several uh, dependent uh, independent variables with respect to large and this is one type of you know creating simultaneous equation modeling and if it is uh, if once you have a time lag then obviously multicollinearity problem and autocorrelation problem is the sure shot so that is how to avoid all such problems so we are using simultaneous equation modeling but structural equation modeling is more advanced, more uh, you know, more accurate. Uh, uh, in fact, it may not, it it can be applied for you know this type of problems, and also it is very useful for cross-sectional modeling where there are groups of you know independent variables and groups of dependent variables uh, without any uh, integration of time lag. Okay, so now uh, if you you have the time lag concept, then obviously with one, for instance, if we have x t and only y t. So, this t represents time 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 uh, lag and uh, y t here also uh, y variable with respect to time lag. So, now we can create several uh, independent variables. So, this is independent variable. So, this is dependent variable in the time frame in the, in the time being let us say. So, then we will create several independent variables x t minus 2, x t minus uh, 3, uh, x t minus 3 like this it will continue. Similarly, y case y t minus 1, y t minus 2, y t minus 3 like this we can continue. Okay. So, there are series of x we will create here, there are series of y you can create here. So, the, uh, the, the, then there is may be you know sometimes y t depends upon x t, y t depends upon x t minus 1, y t depends upon x t minus 2. Similarly, you know uh, y t minus 1 depends upon this one, y t minus depends, uh, y 2 minus de depends upon this one. So, y 2 minus 1 depends upon x t minus 3. This is how they are uh, all together integrated to each other. So, now you know, before uh, jump to structural equation modeling, I briefly find out I mean say uh, highlight the difference about these particular structures. So, basically when we will go for time series modeling and its lag so far as the simultaneous equation modeling system are concerned, then obviously uh, the uh, there are two ways you have to create the uh, simultaneous equation system. So one is called as auto regression scheme, another is called as distributive lag schemes. So uh, modeling basically the time series modeling basically uh, divided into two parts. It's called as auto regressive, auto regressive models, and this is called as a distributive lag models. Auto ARM starts for ARM stands for auto regressive model. Auto regressive model, okay. Then, the auto what is auto regressive models? Auto regressive models we can write like this way: y t equal to y t equal to alpha plus beta zero x t plus beta one x t minus one, okay. Plus beta two x t minus two. It will continue plus beta k x t minus k plus u. Okay, ut. This is oh, one type of water regression model. So then there is another model called as a distributive lag model. So distributive, distributive, uh, distributive lag model. In fact, uh, we have little bit uh, highlighted this issue in the case of dynamic panel data modeling. So here's y t equal to alpha plus beta x t 
plus gamma y t minus 1 plus u t. Well, this is a simple model of distributive log models. You see here. So, now in the case of autoregressive models, y t depends upon uh, uh, you know exogenous variables and it is a, a lag, uh, lag variables, but in the case of distribut uh, distribut distributive lag model, so we are taking the dependent variable that is endogenous variable as a function of both endogenous variable and exogenous variable, which is slightly different to autoregressive model. In the case of autoregressive models, it is the endogenous variable uh, as a function of exogenous variable and its lag length ok. So, uh, the moment you will enter the lag then obviously the additional variable will be created and that to uh, exogenous variable only. But in the case of uh, distributive lag models, so it is the dependent variable and on the other side it is the exogenous variables and also endogenous variables and their lag. So, this is the, class, uh, the classic difference between the autoregressive model and distributive lag model. So, that means, we start with the y t and x t then we will create various difference uh, various types of models. So, far as a simultaneous equation modeling system is concerned. In fact, these are all single equation systems, but we can go simultaneously with respect to uh, you can say um, uh, simultaneous equation uh, say, uh, systems all right. So, this is how we have to describe this uh, st structure of you can say modeling that to uh, distributive log models and uh, you know autoregressive log models. So, now these two are not so much important for structural equation modeling. In the structural equation modeling, so we are not concerned about the y t minus 1, x t minus 1, etcetera. Our concern is, so what are the groups of endogenous variable and what are the groups of exogenous variable. That is very important. So, we have to highlight all these issues. In this way. So, first of all what is structural equation modeling? So, in, in in the moment you will move into the simultaneous equation to the structural uh, structural equation modeling uh, then obviously this particular uh, definition is very important. Structural equation modeling that means what is structural equation modeling? Structural equation modeling in general format uh, is that it is the endogenous variables, endogenous variables as a function of exogenous variables, then endogenous variables, then uh, then it is a error terms ok, error terms. So, this is how structural equation modeling, the, it is the structure of um, various I uh, means various variable with respect to endo clusters and you know exogenous clusters. So, this is the form of structure structural equation modeling ok. So, similarly in the case of the, there is a in, in response to structural equation modeling there is a concept called as a reduced form of the model. So, in the case of reduced form of the models, there is called as a reduced form of the models, reduced form of the models ok. So, in the reduced form of the models, so your endogenous variable, endogenous variable as a function of only exogenous variables and its error terms or ok and its error term. So, that means, uh, uh, we uh, we start with the, uh, having a models uh, called as a structural equation modeling. So, either you have to bring proper structure and you have to find out the uh, solutions or else you have to transfer the structural equation modeling to the reduced form of the model. Uh, then we can directly apply the single equation model uh, methods to estimate the parameters. So, now in the structure what is the difference between this uh, structural equation modeling and single equation modeling. In the case of structural equation modeling, there are uh, obviously the uh, model consists of uh, at least two numbers of equations. Uh, then uh, uh, there is a complete integration. So, first equation depends upon second equation or de second equation depends upon first equation. So, now we have to prepare in such a way or you have you have to create a model in such a way. So, the proper in uh, the both the integration both the equation will give you unique estimate uh, uh, you provide you unique uh, estimated results, but if you are not smart enough to handle the structural equation modeling directly. So, what you have to do? You have to go for the uh, reduced form of the model. So, where endogenous variable as a function of pure exogenous variable and error term. So, now this is uh, the moment you will transfer the endogenous variable as a function of endogenous and exogenous error term to en uh, endogenous as a function of exogenous and error term only then in that case, so it is just like a application of single equation modeling again. So, it is not a problem. So, only problem is how to transfer the structural equation modeling to a say you know reduced form of the equation that is single equation modeling. So, uh, that is very interesting. So, the moment you, you are uh, you, uh, the moment you are successful 
then obviously it is not a problem it is as usual single equation modeling because uh, the estimation process of single equation modeling is very easy to the uh, in com compared to structural equation modeling and simultaneous equation modeling so now so either you can directly handle the structural equation modeling problem so either with the help of simultaneous uh, technique or you can say structural equation technique so now uh, if not then you have to transfer into reduced form of the technique so in the case of reduced form of the technique so you, it is the system is a single uh, in the format of single equation just you have to estimate the parameters by the use of any techniques like ols uh, gls wls or maximum likelihood estimators so now uh, in response to then uh, means in response to structural equation modeling and reduced form of the uh, model so we have a system called as a recursive systems okay so there is a con concept called as a recursive systems uh, recursive uh, recursive a recursive systems okay recursive system is that it is the recursive system it is you know it is a chain of uh, equations okay so it is just like a structural equation modeling but uh, the first equation start with the endogenous variable as a function of exogenous variable only then second equation will be a, 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 a and a second endogenous variable as a function of uh, exogenous variable and first endogenous variable then third equation will be third uh, third equation and uh, third endogenous variable as a function of exogenous variable and first two endogenous variable this is how you to proceed as long as your variable in your hand so like this you start with like this so y1 equal to function of uh, x1 x2 or uh, x3 up to you can say xn then u1 so this is first equation where endogenous variable as a function of all exogenous variable and error terms so in the second equation y2 equal to function of x1 x2 up to xn okay u u1 okay so we we we, we, we put we u1 error term then then first endogenous variables y1 okay in the second case y3 equal to function of x1 x2 okay xn then uh, u then y1 then y2 so this is how it has to it has to be you can say uh, uh, it has to be in, increased subsequently okay so if we really put it in actual explicit format then the picture will be coming like this way in the first equation we will start with like this beta 0 plus beta 1 1 x1 plus beta 1 2 x2 beta 1 2 x2 plus continue beta 1 uh, 1 n x n plus u 1 ok similarly uh, y 2 uh, this is y 1 ok so uh, y 2 equal to y 2 equal to y 2 equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 1 x 1 plus uh, sorry this is 2 1 ok which, because it starts from 2 so beta, beta is 2 beta 2 uh, 2 1 uh, ok so it is better you put here beta 1 0 this is beta 2 0 ok beta 2 0 then beta 2 1 x 1 so beta 2 2 x 2 plus continue beta 2 n x n plus gamma gamma 2 1 y 1 gamma 2 1 y 1 ok so then similarly it will continue ok so ok we will put another equation let us say y 3 equal to uh, beta 3 0 ok beta 3 1 x1 plus beta 3 2 x2 ok continue plus beta uh, 3 uh, 3 n x n plus gamma uh, gamma 3 1 y 1 then uh, plus gamma 3 2 y 2 plus error terms plus error terms ok so this is how it is uh, it will proceed like this way so that means if you put it in a uh, uh, matrix format this will come like this way so this side x1 x2 x3 up to say xk so this side y1 y2 it will come like you know y, y, yn and this is xn okay xn so this is beta 1 1 so i am just reporting the coefficient of variables only okay beta 1 1 so beta 1 2 beta 1 3 then beta 1 n similarly beta 2 1 beta 2 2 beta beta 2 3 ok beta 2 n ok so beta 3 1 beta 3 2 beta 3 3 
okay beta 3n okay similarly uh, for a first equation these are all zero these are all zero here except first equation one okay in the second equation so y2 becomes one okay and uh, uh, y1 becomes minus minus gamma 2 1 gamma 2 1 okay so others are uh, uh, remaining zero okay so in the th third case it is gamma 3 1 gamma 3 min minus gamma 3 2 then this is 1 then this these are all 0 ok so this is how it is proceed so this is another format of uh, you know simultaneous equation modeling so it is called as a recursive system so you uh, so we have a knowledge on single equation modeling simultaneous equation modeling structural equation modeling and recursive systems so with this basic setup so we have to move to the concept called as a structural equation modeling ok so first of all what is structural equation modeling so what is structural equation modeling ok structural equation modeling has a two different setup altogether one is called as a structural equation ok another is called as a modeling so what is modeling so modeling is the process of uh, presenting the a real world problem as a set of mathematical equation it is a process to transfer real world business problem in in the form of a number of equation that is what we call a modeling so in the first lectures we have highlight details about this modeling scenario in the second case structural equation there is a dependent relationship between a, in the structural equations it is the dependency dependency relation dependence it's better put dependence relationship between relationship between relationship between dependent latent variables dependent dependent latent variables and independent latent variables independent latent variables latent variables ok latent variables that is right independent latent variables ok so now in the case of uh, uh, structural equation modeling so we have two different uh, uh, we have two different setup first is modeling and second is in the structural equation so modeling means it is the process of or trans it is a transformation rule to transfer the real world business for problem into mathematical form of the equation in the second case it is a structural equation uh, structural equation it is the dependence relationship between dependent latent variables and independent uh, latent variables so that means it is the question of dependent clusters and independent clusters so i will highlight what is all this dependent cluster and independent clusters that means uh, we know altogether dependent variables and independent variables but here we are discussing about dependent latent variables and independent latent variables so that means it is something more than the structural equation modeling so now in the structural equation modeling there are several dependent variables several independent variables so we like to know uh, how they are integrated to each other interdependence to uh, each other but here structure is very important ok so that is why it is called as a structural equation modeling so the structure so the way you will decide the structure so uh, in that in that case so we have to use this st structure called as a dependent latent variable and independent latent variable so that means so we have to bring a structure where we can observe the dependence interdependence among the various variables with respect to endogenous cluster and exogenous variable exogenous clusters ok so that means uh, in this particular structural equation modeling there are two sets of variables ok so one oh, there are two sets of variables so two sets of there are two sets of variables so like you know structure uh, simultaneous equation we call it endogenous variable and exogenous variable here we will call as a manifest variables and you know latent variables so here we will call it manifest variables manifest variables and another is called as a manifest variables and another is called as a uh, latent variables ok latent variables manifest variables otherwise called as a measured it is it is measured variables observed observed it can be observed ok 
so this latent variables is basically hypothetical and unobserved okay it is hypothetical hypothetical and unobserved unobserved okay so uh, in, in the so there are two variables one is called as a manifest variables and another is called as a latent variables manifest variable is nothing but major variable or observed variable a latent latent variable is nothing but uh, uh, hy hypothetical variables and unobserved variables means data usually available for manifest variables then ultimately uh, uh, we have to create a latent variable with respect to this uh, manifest variables just like you know in the case of time series modeling we have yt let's say for two variables yt and xt so data will be available for yt and data will be available for xt but we will create yt minus 1 yt minus 2 yt minus 3 uh, like you know yt minus k similarly we can create xt minus 1 xt minus 2 up to xt minus k so within a particular system we are creating several variables okay this is one type of structure but here the structure is that so we have we have two groups of variables so the, that in that time series case it is called as a log variables okay so here so we are using manifest variables and you can say latent variable manifest variables it is very much observed data files are there means data are directly uh, readily available but in the case of latent variable it is hypothetical and unobserved so it is not available so we have to construct the data file with the available data files okay existing data file that means so uh, we have to create uh, something that is it is a pro uh, we have to use the processed process data in a different way that is the uh, you know beauty of the structural equation modeling so uh, so we have to integrate uh, means the original variables with the latent variables so that the latent the integration of latent variable and original variable will give you the proper structure or you can say be beautiful modeling setup so that is how we have to we have to discuss this concept of structural equation modeling altogether this picture will be coming like this way so endogenous endogenous variables so basically it is the game between endogenous variables endogenous variables and exogenous variable exogenous variable so that means it is the dependent variables it is the game between dependent dependent variable okay and independent variables okay it is the game between dependent variable and independent variables okay where the variables in the models okay so that means so uh, 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 so we have to give a signal so where is the dependent variable and where is the independent variable for instance i will give you a proper structure here okay so the structure is here so i will take a you know simple model here uh, uh, okay so uh, so far as the structural equation modeling is concerned so there are two ways we can say there will be direct path and there will be indirect path okay indirect path so uh, so indirect path is basically the form of structural pure structural equation modeling direct path is purely a multivariate uh, multivariate regression modeling it is just like pure uh, multivariate regression modeling okay before i go uh, go to highlight details about structural equation modeling its origin and uh, its structure its uh, uh, methodology and its application so i briefly highlight how how this multi means multivariate it means the or origin of this you know uh, simultaneous equation modeling and structural equation modeling is from the multiple regression only so uh, it is the we are handling multiple regression in a different shape altogether so that uh, that is in the form of simultaneous equation modeling and structural equation modeling so now uh, i will take one simple example the how how we can analyze that particular problem in the case of uh, you can say multivariate uh, uh, multivariate regression modeling and how we will put all together in the case of structural equation modeling let's see here or in between how simultaneous equation modeling can be you can say uh, discuss okay so the proper setup is like this okay so the proper setup is like this let's say so i will take uh, two variables here uh, uh, you can say uh, uh, tell uh, let's take case of experience is an one variables then another variable i will take it education okay then this these two are i will i will assume that these two are independent variables then 
uh, you know uh, here I will put it uh, the component called as a preparedness ok, prepared preparedness ok, there, there is another variables ok. So, now uh, this the uh, you know simple power direct path is like this. So, this indicates that means this this I will call it x 1, this I will call it x 2, this I will call it y ok. So, now when uh, when I will go for uh, when I will go for you can say uh, simple uh, direct path then obviously I have to apply direct multivariate regression analysis that to multivariate multiple regression analysis. So, that times I will I will mention like this way beta 0 plus summation beta i x i i equal to 1 to 2. So, in other words we can write like this beta 0 equal to beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus you can say error terms all right. But in the case of this is simple structure of this is direct path direct path of direct path of of structural equation modeling direct path of structural modeling is in something or uh, nothing but regression regression equation modeling ok it is something regression modeling only so now so how is it how is it different to structural equation modeling uh, let us say I will I will put you another diagram here then I will, I will highlight the structural equation modeling so let us say same problems I will highlight here so this is a, a experience this is experience and this is uh, education. This is experience and this is education. Then this is risk perceptions. I will take another component called as a risk perception. Perception. Okay. Then preparedness. Okay. Preparedness. Okay. You see here. Uh, generally, a uh, when we have a particular problem we start with uh, because ultimately this particular technique is also causality technique. So, here uh, uh, the uh, only difference is here we are having a um, um, you know bi, uh, bi directional causality or in the two way causality or in the case in uh, on the contrary in the case of single equation modeling we always look for one way causality. But here uh, uh, in the case of particular structural equation modeling structure is very important then in the uh, in the same times we we look for you know two way causality well, for instance you know we start we, we in, in this particular case we have highlighted the m model or problem where preparedness as a function of experience and education okay preparedness as a function of experience and education so our aim is here means very beginning our aim is uh, how means uh, objective is how experience and education are related to preparedness whether we will put more experience uh, to get uh, preparedness or we will put you know more education to provide more preparedness. So, so, this is how the multiple regression can be set, but you know uh, this in between if you will add any, any variables or you can subtract, subtract another variable then the system will be completely changed, but you know when suffer means uh, when there is a talking of structural equation modeling so within a particular system so if you will add something then it will be create a structure and then if you will form a model so that for that modeling is called as a structural equation modeling so that means within a particular system so you have to bring a particular factor or variable okay so either by natural process or you have to create uh, like in the form of latent variables okay so now uh, within that particular structures so, if you will integrate all together then it is called as a structural equation modeling. Let us see how, how is the look of structural equation modeling. So, this is how uh, this is how the structures. So, now uh, we have already mentioned so experience and risk as a uh, experience as a uh, impact on risk perceptions, education has a impact on risk perceptions. Okay. Then we have a preparedness. So, preparedness we have already highlighted there is integrations. So, similarly uh, you, you have to highlight here with you can say preparedness ok experience has a impact on pre preparedness then finally, risk perception has a impact on preparedness that means you see here this picture is more um, slightly complicated. So, you see so we can directly write like this way. So, for instance preparedness preparedness is equal to function of experience ok educations and risk perceptions we can write like this way then you can analyze but in that case 
in that case we, we cannot go get a particular structure or we cannot uh, 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 highlight the hidden a hidden a, a causality in between the uh, in between these problems okay so that means so our if we apply you know such particular problem with like to uh, means with the application of regression analysis then obviously experience education and uh, risk perception should be completely uh, independent okay so that means there should not be uh, any st any such linear relationship am among them but here so we find the risk perception has a function of experience and education so that means there is some kind of problem in between so we have to first sort out that particular problem then you have to go for uh, you can say it's a solution for instance if i will highlight this one if i will call it experience is x1 and you know education is x2 then risk perception is you can say uh, y1 okay so then uh, this this is already y1 so we will call it this is y1 and this is y2 okay so that means here at the in the endogenous cluster is y1 y2 okay so exogenous cluster will be x1 and x2 okay so only uh, the thing is that only a classifying endogenous variable and a, a classifying exogenous variable will not solve your problem or will not give you any kind of solutions for this you know interdependence multivariate interdependence technique so here what is the important thing is that you have to find out the structure hidden structures lies between these particular problems uh, uh, means whatever problems we are discussing so now uh, here so we like to know how endogenous um, means th there are two specific uh, you know uh, uh, ideas here one specific idea or objective is to classify who are the endogenous variable and who are the exogenous variable the second specific objective is that so we have to find out to whether there is any structure in between these variables if there is any structure in between these variables then you have to directly apply the structural allocation model if there is no such structure then you have to go for simple multivariate regression only if there is no structure then obviously we will assume that these variables are completely independent to each other so we should not go to complex uh, problem so it is better to solve this particular problem in a simple manner by using multiple regression analysis only but uh, within the multi multi uh, you know you know multivariate technique the way you are solving that particular problem so if there is any structure in between then obviously it is better or it is suggestive to use structural equation modeling rather than the you can say simple multivariate uh, uh, regression modeling because and uh, if you don't understand the structure then obviously the model accuracy will not be perfectly okay uh, uh, either it will affect the goodness fit of the models or you can say it may affect uh, uh, affect the significance of that particular variable that altogether the blue property will not be uh, obtained okay because uh, 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 we are picking up a, uh, it is obvious of course there is a big model which has a closed integration and we are just picking one equation and estimating the parameters without having sufficient knowledge that's why at very beginning i have mentioned uh, before you handling any statistical modeling or before you apply any statistical modeling to a particular problem you must have a sound knowledge on theory so theoretically you should be very very sound where is the root of the problem the identification of problems uh, the a factors affecting that particular problem means you have to identify what are the total number of factors and who are the dependent who are the independent or uh, whether there is any extra variables which can uh, inserted and what uh, or wh wh whether the variables which have chosen are all relevant variables these are the issues you have to uh, you have to take care before you entering to this particular structure uh, particular setup of you know modeling so now generally what people used to do so they they, they don't they don't know all these things simultaneous uh, simultaneous structures or structural equation modeling etc so they simply you know they uh, if you give them problems so uh, if you just give a clue that these are all independent variables and these are all uh, dependent variables okay uh, sorry the only one dependent variables and these are all independent variables so then obviously so they will just simply apply the multiple regression just they enter the data in the particular softwares click 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 they will get the results okay 
So, this is the not the fact here. So, here even if the uh, here the problem is that we are very much keen what is the hidden agenda in that particular problem. It is not only uh, obviously the region, uh, the system will be very efficient, very feasible, very practical if there are more number of variables in the system. But more number of variables in the system means in the one hand it will be give you more feasibility, more practical uh, means more practical things, but in the same time it will add lots of uh, complexity. For instance, if you add uh, uh, more variables, then obviously there may be question of uh, st uh, means there is there may be problem of simultaneous equation modeling or there may be structural equation modeling. Means that means there may be some interdependence among the variables because uh, all uh, the moment you will use all these variables all the means more number of variables in a particular setup then obviously all variables cannot be exclusively uh, independent so obviously there should be some kind of uh, integration so if some kind of integration there and you directly apply this uh, uh, regression modeling then obviously there is a the standard problem is the multicollinearity and autocorrelation but uh, if we will go indirectly exactly knowing in the different means one's equation and how these equations are means what are these variables and how these variables are whether these variables are influencing each other variables or they are totally independent if they are totally independent then absolutely fine if they are not uh, 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 means uh, totally uh, uh, means they are tot not totally independent then obviously there is a serious problem so for that you have to find out a particular solution for that okay so now for this particular uh, problem so what i will do so i will go first like you know what is we 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 have already highlighted y1 y1 equal to y1 equal to gamma 1 plus gamma 2 y okay plus u2 gamma 1 plus y2 but we have already highlighted uh, this is gamma 2 y2 but we have highlighted y1 equal to y1 equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus u okay so this is which we have highlighted with this particular setup only okay uh, sorry uh, uh, we we you means in this particular setups y equal to x1 and x2 so the, this is you have we have cite, cited here this is y, uh, game between this is if i call y1 then it is nothing but y1 as a function of uh, x1 and x2 only okay so now it is the function of uh, uh, x1 and x2 so now uh, if we will integrate this one here then obviously uh, uh, this first equation is written like this way so in the second case we are using the uh, risk perception so how risk perceptions are integrated so that means here risk perception has an integration with y1 so obviously one of the standard equation we will find out here so y1 is equal to gamma 1 plus gamma 2 y2 okay so y2 uh, plus u2 okay so then what we have to do to solve this particular problem so we have to summarize this one okay so this is uh, this is obviously y2 this is obviously y2 and this is obviously y1 okay this is obviously y1 okay so if it is y1 here all right so now uh, so what you have to do to solve y2 so we have to put gamma 1 plus gamma 2 into beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus u plus let's say this is this is u1 this is u2 okay so this is u1 this is u2 okay so now you simplify this one so this is gamma 1 plus gamma 2 beta 0 okay plus gamma 2 beta 1 x1 plus gamma 2 beta 2 x2 plus gamma 2 u1 plus u2 okay so now what i will do what i will say uh, what uh, i will say it means uh, the, the moment i will summarize then i can write like this way um, simply uh, you know alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus simply say error component epsilon okay so now see here alpha 0 is nothing but this particular item okay similarly alpha 1 is nothing but gamma 2 beta 1 then alpha 2 is nothing but gamma 2 beta 2 okay so then accordingly we have to find out its solution so this is now 
uh, just like a single equation molding we can solve this particular problem but uh, this is very much okay if you understand uh, inside the problem what is the structure uh, 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 you know hidden in this particular problem until unless you know the structure you cannot sort out that particular problem or you can say examine that particular problem with this basic setup so we have to we have to proceed to this particular simultaneous what is uh, simultaneous equation modeling that means our main agenda is uh, what is this simultaneous uh, sorry structural equation modeling and uh, how this uh, uh, what is the root and how you have to solve this particular problems okay so now structural equation modeling basically structural equation modeling is the uh, uh, the basic objective is to uh, identification of structure with set of observed variables okay so the basic idea about uh, structural equation modeling is that so you have to find out the proper structure within the observed variables that means existing setup so you have to find out to the structure uh, detect the structure is very important in the case of structural equation modeling so detection of structures so detection of structures detection of structure is one of the prime objective of structural equation modeling so that means it, 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 it but uh, ultimately it is generally approach to multivariate uh, it is a general approach to multivariate data analysis so that means so uh, we can write here general approach to general approach to multivariate data analysis okay so that means you see here so structural uh, equation modeling has the two important features so first thing so we have discussed various aspects of uh, econometric modeling so then finally this is almost all one part of the uh, uh, you know problem called as a regression modeling then we will move to the time series modeling in the end part of the regression modeling is the structural equation modeling so here we have to uh, means we are at the uh, extreme complex uh, environment where we have two specific objective first objective is uh, means particularly for the structural equation modeling it is the generalization approach of multivariate data analysis though we have discussed multivariate data analysis in the case of uh, with the help of multiple correlation multiple regressions and also simultaneous equation modeling so similar in fact simultaneous equation modeling structural equation modeling there are very close connections uh, more or less same there is a slight difference is there so we will highlight what is the slight difference but here uh, in this structural equation modeling so two important feature is it is a generalized a generalized, a generalized approach to multivariate data analysis and a most important thing most important feature is to find out a particular structure which is usually in hidden so you have to explore it properly how they are integrated to each other uh, and uh, another thing is that it is very difficult to find out the structure without having critical knowledge and sufficient knowledge about the problem so generally uh, theory and uh, problem uh, surrounding will give you to prepare a particular structures it is mathematics mathematically we can bring the equation we can set the equation but it is very difficult to set in a structure so because various variables how they are integrated we cannot hypothetically just uh, represent we cannot hy hypothetically can uh, uh, write something there is something uh, something available in our hand then with the availability we have to prepare the model so that is the beauty of the structural equation modeling okay so there are various form uh, various ways we can uh, uh, represent the structural equation modeling it is called as a covariance analysis covariance it is covariance structural analysis csa it is otherwise called as a csa covariance structural analysis sometimes it is called as a causal models causal models okay sometimes it is sometimes it is called as a causal model and this is otherwise called as a anova okay analysis of variance okay so uh, then simultaneous equations it is the question of simultaneous equation simultaneous uh, tenuous equation then uh, there is a concept of path analysis there is a cost concept of path analysis then then there is integration to conformatory factor analysis okay then latent variant uh, le uh, then it leads to latent variant uh, latent variable modeling okay latent variable modeling uh, latent variable modeling so this lat latent variable modeling is nothing but the question of structural equation modeling okay latent variable uh, uh, modeling is nothing but structural equation modeling that means 
the structure is like this. So, you have a, a dependent classification that is a endogenous variable cluster, then you have also exogenous clusters okay, and that is an, uh, independent variable. So, within the endogenous variable setup, so we have to find out the latent variables. So, that means within the endogenous, how the a one fa uh, factor can be considered or factor can be created. That means it is basically integration of path model and factor models. Okay. So now we have to understand what is what is factor uh, model actually. Factor for factor analysis is a interdependence technique through which we have to transfer the original variable to a smaller set of variables, which is a linear combination of original variables. So that is how the structure is all about. That means we have to we have to create a latent variable which has a particular structure or integration with the original variables. Okay, so that is how it is called as a, a structural equation modeling. So there are very, means many things we have to integrate here with the respect with uh, regards to the structural equation modeling. But originally, originally we look for two different tools here, so two different objectives. So one is correlations and another is causality okay so that means the structure will be like this way so it the indication will be like this way one way causality or two way causality so these uh, this is uh, one uh, this is second this is third okay so these three are common uh, uh, common agenda for the structural equation modeling so that means so uh, when there is a large number of variables in the systems and that sy in that particular system if we have any structure then obviously how we have to bring that particular structures so either the structure is one way causality or two way causality or there is a question of correlations okay covariance two way causality means it's a, a reverse direction is not allowed in fact here yes, but to, uh, to we, we are calling it say basically it is game between these two only one and two okay so it is just we are showing that there is a question of bidirectional causality because sometimes you know same variable will be affecting indirectly through other variables okay so that is how that means here we have to means we we discuss already correlation and covariance technique which is the uh, which can express the uh, relationship between two variables two independent variables okay but in the case of causality, we have to know who causes what. Okay, so now once you find out the structure, then obviously we get to know uh, there is some things which have causal relationship and something which have just simple relationship. So that is the correlations. Okay, so uh, structural equation modeling, the basic framework or the basic idea is to find out uh, uh, the correlation issue and the regression issue. So that is the uh, that is the ba basic or major uh, agenda for this structural equation modeling. But it is it, it is not so simple. So correlation is so very simple technique, and regression is also uh, somewhat uh, you can say. It, in fact, it may be a little bit complex, but it is so uh, so much uh, uh, easy like you know with respect to structural equation modeling. So correlation is easy to understand, easy to calculate. So regression is easy to understand, easy to calculate provided you should have sound knowledge on this particular uh, statistical theory then uh, uh, then we have to uh, enter to the structural equation modeling in the case of structural equation modeling the most important thing is you have these systems then you have to find the examine the structure or detect the structure within the that detection structures we have to see where we can f uh, where we have correlation and where we have a regression so the issue of correlation and regressions with the particular setup, so it's called as a structural equation modeling. Okay, so uh, it is very interesting. So because it has a um, lots of application. In fact, okay, the origin started from the psychology, then you can say uh, psych uh, uh, psychology, then economics, then you can say biology. So it has a uh, many application in many fields in various ways. So uh, basically, a, a the structural equation modeling is the integration of uh, path model and factor model. So we briefly in, uh, first highlight a little bit about the factor model. Then we will briefly highlight the path model. Then we will integrate this to to get the structural equation modeling. So we will discuss details about this setup so in the next class. With this, we can conclude this particular session. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.